One of the most important and yet overlooked pieces of work that needs to be done in any team is whiteboarding. Have you ever noticed how high performance sports teams use whiteboards to strategize? Well, there's an important reason that they do that and you should too. Using a pen on a whiteboard is a visual and spatial task that stimulates big picture thinking. It's called big picture thinking for a reason. And you can find out more about that in our video series called The Science Behind the Pen. The low formality nature of hand-drawn words and diagrams encourages discussion and thinking, whereas typed words encourage format. That includes a focus on spelling and grammar. If you type your ideas and share them, people will just correct your spelling. So the science clearly shows that our best thinking is done in a low formality visual and spatial format. And the quality of the conversations that you have as a team before you get to the work will determine the outcome and quality of the work that gets done. That's why in most offices you'll find people with notepads and pens, and in a team setting with whiteboards or flip charts. The trend is that people use these less and less and tend to type more today, but that's a bad idea. When you try and solve problems with a keyboard, you simply won't be able to achieve your best. So how do you whiteboard with your colleagues when you're not in the same room? Well, if you use Teams, we have the Microsoft Whiteboard that fits into Teams in three different ways. Firstly, if you've sent out a meeting invite to your team and you join a call, well, you might notice that a whiteboard icon shows up in the share tray. If you click it here, everyone who's on the call will see the whiteboard that gets created and they can even participate in it. If you have the Microsoft Whiteboard app, you can even open it up directly on your own app, separate from the call window. As of today, this doesn't work for people who are outside of your organization. However, this is on the roadmap to open up real soon. So that's the first way to kick off a whiteboard. The second way is to go to the whiteboard app and start a new whiteboard. You can download the whiteboard app from the Microsoft store or go to whiteboard.microsoft.com. Create a new whiteboard and then you can invite others to share that whiteboard with you. In the case of the web app, you can copy a link to the whiteboard so that you can paste it into an email, a chat or into a team. If you're using the app, you'll also be able to invite people by name to participate in the whiteboard, and that will send them an email invitation. If you're using the app, you can post this whiteboard directly to the team by selecting the hamburger menu in the top right and clicking on Post to Teams. You can select the team and the channel, and the whiteboard app will post a simple link to the whiteboard there. And thirdly, and this is one of my favorites, you can create a whiteboard as a tab at the top of a channel in a team. Imagine that you had a whiteboard discussion to kick off your project. All of the thinking and inspiration is reflected on that whiteboard, but typically you'd have to take a photo of it and then wipe it away. It becomes a static thing at that point and it's hard to refer back to. But what if your whiteboard could live on and evolve throughout the life of your project? A digital whiteboard allows you to create with low formality ink, notes and diagrams, pictures and even screenshots, documents and slides for reference. And it allows you to create with people who could be streets or continents away from you, synchronously, together at the same time, or asynchronously, like in Goodwill Hunting. So there are three ways that you can achieve big picture thinking and clarity with your team with a whiteboard in Teams. What are you waiting for? Go and get your team thinking, brainstorming, and talking. In the next part of this team series, we'll be talking about the next step, which is planning. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified when the video drops next week.